Jaya Saria. Atapatu, the opening batsman. Akib Javid will open the bowling. And everything's set for another very exciting game for Garfield. Thank you very much, Greg, and good afternoon to viewers. I think it's very important for Pakistan, particularly in these first four or five overs. I think this would give us a fair idea of how this match is going to go. That'll be a wide to start the proceedings. Umpire Dunn puts the arms out. Akib Javid will be disappointed with that as a start. There's a little bit of tension there, no doubt. The Pakistan team will be fielding it because this is a must-win game. I think Sri Lanka will be looking for a very good starter. Both of these players get going, particularly Jasua. He's a very, very good player, very attacking player, and he will be certainly looking to repeat his last two performances. A better delivery. Just a little bit of bounce and some swing there for Akib Javid. Asaf Iqbal and Glenn Turner said they thought there'd be some bounce out there and that's evident already. Good start here, bit of swing going down the leg side. It looks like there's a bit of pace there too. It seems as though the way like they did the other evening. So it's a good start for Pakistan. Sri Lanka two for no wicket. A little bit differently by Pakistan. Things weren't working as they were. So the inexperienced Khan. Rather a Dilted and halting approach to the wicket. Dead ball first up. Well, it's good to see that the captains are beginning to use their imagination. They're beginning to think, at least, and realize that to most of these opening batsmen, as particularly batsmen like Jasuya, you cannot afford to bowl short and therefore and, and change the pace. And it's nice to see that they're starting with a, a, a spinner from this end. Jasuya the man facing whoops it into the gap there's a lot of room out there on the leg side quite wide boundaries on the on each side so larger outfield here at Eden Gardens on and the sweeper out at a backward square leg so there are a lot of wide open spaces good delivery just swinging in slower through the air Jaya Saria likes the ball to come onto him it's going to take him a little while to adjust. Oh, this is a good delivery. Oh, just turned a bit. Just turned a bit. I think it went up straight and up there. I think Jalsu was looking for it to turn more. But it just turned a little bit, and I think he was probably just outside of off stump. Very, very close. Short again. You can't afford to be there. Doesn't matter what sort of cricket it is. You're not going to be able to bowl there and get away with it. Yes, um, I thought that Pakistan would have learned from that first final. But you can't afford to allow the batsman to play across. As you see, this is short. And just uh, middle in it. And the outfield is very, very quick. Jaya Saria. Good drive. That's a great shot. Just a little bit of width, slightly over pitch, but the margin for error is not good enough on wickets as good as this. We're against talented players. Very good technique and lovely position. Playing that off the front for beautiful shot. This kind of player gets behind the ball, good technique. And Akib Jarvid goes uh, away on the leg side this time. Akapatu swinging it away. So the problem for the bowlers when you're bowling to a right-hander and a left-hander is that you're continually having to change your line and Akib Javid makes the mistake of getting on leg stump to the right-hander. Good glance in blow there. A lot of risks in the ball direction. Foreign true. Very good player. And good understanding between these two players. His own and do the attacking. Good drive, the ball wide of off stump. Adapatu very quickly onto the ball that was over pitched and wide of off stump. Very, very good uh, technique, good style this player. He's hit that in the middle and that's an important boundary. 
this is one of the things you can't afford to do, to give the batsman with. Especially up outside the off-top with all the fielders up. Lovely cover drive. And on this fast outfield, the fielders have no chance. This time he's gone with the cut shot that's beaten the infield. Akif Jarvis tearing his hair out. Very frustrating stuff for the bowler. 31. Jaya Saria trying to make room for himself. So the pressure is on Jaya Saria. They're keeping it very tight. He's having... Too much width. Well, you notice that was fixed before it was even hit. Um, that's why you can't afford to do that when you know your player. And I think that the last shot caused the, caused the bowler to do that. Varying outside the off stump from one extreme to the next. Going with both spinners at both the ends. We look for two here, Jai Surya. The quick between the wickets. Uh, that's the 50 up in just over 7-0 in, in, in the 8th over. And once again, there it is. Just off 45 deliveries. Full flow. Pretty classy too. Oh, that swung away into the crowd by Jai Surya. That was there to be hit. And Jai Surya made no mistake. It's 59 for no loss. Nice return on the onside. Some more runs here for Sri Lanka. If they push, they could get three. And in the end, they get it comfortably. It's not really good cricket because Akib is coming round the wicket and he has got all the fielders on the offside and he's only got three on the on. And once he beats that inner field, there are runs to be picked and that's exactly what happened. And I think uh, the Miz Raja needs to have a word. He's gone straight to the man in front of square. Atta Patu is gone and Pakistan have picked up their first wicket just when they needed to. Yes, I think that wicket is very much welcomed there by the Pakistanis because this game was going away from them and Atta Patu is playing a little bit casually and there was a bit of a turn. They're playing straight to the substitute Hassan Raza who is there in place of Saeed Anwar and the delight is there on the face. 69 for one. Shad Khan's last over. He was out for 29. Obviously, seven runs per over. And on target for another huge score like they did in the first Mohali final. Oh, that smashed high in the air and again into the crowd. He's picked that one up beautifully, Jay Surya. That was an amazing shot with a very short back left. And that ball travelled. There it is. Just a little bit short, not that short, but the line was right as far as Jaisuri was concerned, and the bounce was good. And a very short back uh, lift, the ball landed in the crowd. Six more. Well, that really was a short arm jab. Such a strong man in his forearms, Jaisuri. He's blazed at that one. It's over the covers and into the fence crowd loving every bit of this entertainment from this explosive left-hander. Well, Akib Javed certainly bearing the brunt there because uh, no matter which line he's bowling, there it is. Once again, picking it off the back foot, rocking back and lifting it over the head of the extra cover. Four more runs and in length, he punishes them. And that's picked up again over the infield and into the fence so boundary again to Jay Surya to end the over 85 for one and uh, there is the little Kaluba Tarna we'll have to wait and see what he has got in store for the Pakistani bowlers they're going along almost 8 and over and certainly this huge crowd at Eden Gardens is enjoying this fine innings inside field it's in the air and taken at backward point so Ashad Khan has struck Jai Surya disappointed but 
has been another fine innings by him. And Pakistani fielders and bowlers both will be relieved to see the back of Jaisiria there and the ball bouncing just a little bit, hitting as well. And a very fine catch in the end. Delighted 13th man. Once or so. On the expensive side and costing 42 per wicket. So very much in the all round class. Come on, Hassan. Oh, that's gone through the gap, through extra cover. Unlikely to catch up with that one. That's a lovely shot. Beautifully played by Arvind de Silva as soon as the speeding through to the boundary. A controlled shot there from De Silva. 90 in the last match. Yep. And a repeat, just a little bit squarer this time. But hit even more crisply. Perfectly timed once again by De Silva. Just picking those gaps so gloriously. A full face of the bat with the front foot just leaning into it and caressing it through that vacant offside field, beating the fielder in front. It's crowd again here at Eden Gardens. Very close in, but delicate shot. That's four more. That's 12 from three balls. It just bounced enough for him to play the shot delicately. So not easy to take. Yeah! Oh, a loud call there, and a shy at the stumps. It looked as though De Silva was going to back up too far. So the final ball, uh, two balls coming up to finish the 15. So that was two balls ago, that quicker one from Afridi. Looking to left, it's pretty straight. He's given it. Steve Dunn has given it. Carla Watarina got down to sweep it far too soon. It looked pretty straight. He's disappointed, but the shot looked premeditated. It was a poor one. That indeed is a big break for Pakistan. If it did rather straight that time, and uh, Carla Watarina going for the sweep, being wrapped on the front foot, but all the same, Steve Dunn felt it was hit the wicket. 110 for two. Two, the two most experienced batsmen. Quick one, but full toss, and that's four. No ball called as well, so all in all, not a great first up ball for the Pakistanis. Ranatunga, a gimme for him to get off the mark. Ranatunga very quickly off the mark, and that's a no ball from Madridi. Very quick one, but Ranatunga reacting very quickly, getting an outside edge, and the ball just running into that wake and slip region. So bowled very quickly, it was that attempted Yorker and fast one, but full toss. Gets this one fine, there'll be a couple, if not more. Well, just managing to get a clog on it. So just a couple, the end of the over, 125 for three. Christy. And the fact that one is a left-hander and the other one's a right-hander will help Sri Lanka immensely. And again, he's found the gap. That's a top-class shot. Four more runs to the silver to end the over. It's 137 for three. And a team to correspond with each other and keep each other in check. And once the two of these batsmen are in, Pakistan could be in a tremendous amount of trouble. To Saklain Mustak. This should be interesting. We saw Arshad Khan getting a few deliveries to turn. This is down the leg side. We'll wait for the Empire signal. Oh, very unfortunate. Just come on. Probably looking for his line and length and just strain down the leg side and turn in. I think the turn is what beat the wicket keeper there. And that's another four runs to the Pakistan total. And another bowling change here for Pakistan. 
Mohamed Hussain, the left arm spinner, being brought into the attack. And he's been promptly cut away by De Silva. For another boundary. Does find the gaps with regularity. Again, we've seen that shot again. What can we say about it? No more than he is in such good control when he plays this shot. Just again, a little foot forward, get balanced. The ball is not far enough up. Change his mind, goes back onto his back foot and play the late cut. This is it so beautifully. And this time it's been swept. A chase for the man at square leg, but the ball wins. So the second boundary of the over for the little Sri Lankan. That's another good shot, and if you really was to watch this shot, not much back lift in this. You can't afford to go right back and on top of it, timing it well, and this time hitting it fine. Realizing there's a man square, getting inside, hitting it fine. A good effort by the feeler. Straight to that fielder at mid-wicket. Yeah, bowling over the wicket to the left-handed Ranatunga. of the heavyweights of the Board of Control for Cricket in India. That was just before this. This is an all-time legend, Sunil Gavaskar. But all the captains uh, captained India after independence here. That's cut away by Ranatunga. He's an expert at this. Very strong square of the wicket on the offside. Again, to play those shots, to beat the man at backward point, it's got to be a very short back lane and come down on top of the ball and as you can see there a lovely shot I wouldn't be surprised surprised if he doesn't get it with a four you now the people are looking for him to get it with a single and probably went for the loose ball and that's turned around the corner this will be four runs. You hit the nail on the head, Sir Gary. Another 50 for Arvinder De Silva. A sight that has become very common to cricket lovers all around the world. Winning the toss, that's close to seven, and that's a very good run rate. Still got seven wickets in hand, and I'm sure that the Sri Lankans are looking for a score of well in excess of 300. One sliding down the leg side, fortunate to get away with it. May have just come off the pad again down the leg side. So Saclean is uh, riding a very thin line here. And he's getting a turn as well, Gregory. There, the ball turning, pitching just about middle and leg, and turned quite, quite a bit. <laughs> and that's exactly what he wanted to do. Bowled the prize wicket of Sri Lanka. Arvinda trying to catch. There he is. A bit disappointed, but what a good wicket from Pakistan's point of view. 177 for four, Sri Lanka. This is a very good delivery. Well flighted and a lot of turn. It's hit middle stump about two thirds of the way up. Sri Lanka have lost their fourth wicket. 177 for four. Experience, averaging almost 30 in his 134 innings. He does have a couple of centuries to his name. Hasn't had too many opportunities in this Independence Cup. And the reason he's out there is to replace Arabinda de Silva. And that was very good bowling from Saklain Mushtaq because the previous two deliveries, he drifted down middle and leg, saw that the ball is turning, and this one he pitched outside off stump and Arabinda going for the cut, and the ball turned quite a bit, hitting the middle stump there. You what can't see his left hand in plaster. And there was a big doubt about Ijaz too before the start of the game. He wasn't uh, fit enough, but uh, realizing that they're also missing Inzamam, he opted to play. So they are carrying a bit of uh, injuries around. Yourself. All of which will make it very difficult if Sri Lanka can get their target of around 300. Be a very good uh, strike rate, but at times he has managed to help the Sri Lankan team. And then once again, ball pitching outside the leg stump and just helping the ball 
in picking up two more runs. Sri Lanka rating 200, 201 of just 32.4 deliver overs. Yes! Over the top, but he could have hit it down long on. No, it's gone over the top of long on for six effortlessly. Looked as though he'd hold out, but what a good strike. Beautifully picked up by Tekaratna. Stella Karatna just picking that up beautifully. What precision timing, just hitting it on the up and clearing that long on boundary. It's a great shot. Cheeky, I might add. Oh, that's good feeling. So Hussain getting away with a big full toss. The ball whacked back at him. It looks as though he might have damaged his... Uh, looks as though there could be some blood there. So he's cut himself in taking that return ball. Stelikaratna hitting it very firmly on the full. Picked up cleanly, but um, all the same has hurt his finger. And uh, there's some blood oozing out. Well, that's gone for four. So welcome back here to Eden Gardens. This co-production between Doordarshan and World Tell bringing it to you, the Pepsi Independence Cup. This is the second final. The first one, of course, from Mahali being easily won by the Sri Lankans. His stumps, but not from an LBW. On over the top as he hit it wide between the two fielders he has. It just drops short of and wide of. Deep backward square. Midwicket comes around, and so they come back for a second. So Arjuna Ranatunga trying to launch that one over the boundary. Ranatunga finding the wide vacant space is very inviting, looking to go for the big one. Yeah. Oh, he could be run out here if it. Oh, they'll call for it there, I would imagine. A mix up there, Raja skipper at mid wicket. Well, that was a widest throw. He was off balance when he threw it. Mohan Khan had to take the bails off. Is he in or out? Ranatunga down to short mid wicket. Turns around very quickly. Has he got in? Oh, that's going to be very close. Well, the bails. If we take it back half a frame, well, I can't take it half a frame. We we'll take it back one more frame. some doubt had him out but couldn't be given the ball the next one there just there and once again enough doubt but he can count himself lucky I think. quite happy with the way things are going these two players can in fact both the ball going over the top attempting to hit it between the two does but hits it for six as well well deep mid wicket wasn't around far enough Mid on two straight, so we'll give Ranatung the full marks here for placement and power. Ranatung looking to add momentum to the innings that time, picking that extremely well and launching it over the mid wicket boundary for six. So it bounced just between the rope and the boundary fence. Well, I shouldn't call it a boundary fence because it's not. At the end of four balls, that's really good going. Ranatunga tending to collect more at the other end with the odd party blow, as we saw last over. Pulling it away again. And is it six more? No, four, says umpire Dunn. Ranatunga giving that delivery the treatment it deserves. Very short by Salim Malik. Ranatunga quickly across and pulling it into the... Waken mid wicket region. And he scores his 50 with that shot. Goes to 52, not out. So Ranatunga looking to cut loose now. One suspects. But he won't want to give it away either. The temptation is for him to say, well, we're in a strong position. We've still got some batting left. I'll go and have a shower, sort my mind out, and come out fresh to captain the side to victory. strolling through for the single 
Catch it! Trying to hit it for six. It'll be six or out. It's out. So the Karatna just trying once too often. So Salim Malik tempting him once again. Not able to get enough loft on the shot to get it over the top. So he goes. Azif Raza takes the catch. 250 for five. Yeah, well, he's, that's just slogging across the line. It's hit or miss stuff. The Sri Lankans should be looking for more sensible batting because uh, it's a long way to go. They've still got nine overs to complete, and that's Shamin Dewas continuing to look at that mid wicket region. It's gone straight up in the air. He sliced it, and that's easily gone. Ijaz Ahmed taking the simplest of catches, so really. That wasn't very smart batting from Chaminda Vas. Didn't do him a favour or Sri Lanka. Certainly not the best of strategies by Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka certainly needed runs quickly, but uh, one has to bat sensibly on a pitch like this. So Chaminda Vas departs. Good over for Pakistan. Stop. He's gone up in the air, but it could land safely here. He was looking to hit it over extra cover. Two men uh, chasing that ball in the end. Two comfortable runs for the Sri Lankans. There was a big gap between deep point and long off. And that's where Mahanama was looking to hit this ball over extra cover. But he got it high on the bat. And uh, luckily for him, it landed in between the two fielders. Yes. It's 268, concern. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Mahanama. He split the field there, punched that off the back foot and found the gap again on the offside. Something that he was trying to do for against Salim Malik, but here, that bounce, that extra bounce that uh, Saklain got of that delivery. There we'll see Mahanama picking up the gap perfectly and also timing it well enough to pick up four runs. We make the final judgment. Chance of a run out here if he hits. This is going to be very close. That was good thinking from Saklain. He, kn he knew that the moment Ranatunga pushed that ball, he was going to, there it is, picking up and a direct hit would certainly put the Sri Lankan captain under pressure and he's gone. That's out. It's 276 for seven. Good position, 279 for seven. Ideally, they want to play off these full 50 overs, even if they get less than a runner ball of the 24 deliveries remaining. Oi! They still will comfortably cross that 300 run mark. And Salim Malik has been asked to bone. When he started the game, he wasn't fit to. In the end, coming and bowling his ninth over, starting with a wide and total on this ground. And some more runs here. This time. The ball might just cross the fence. A tease for two fielders. And the ball just crossing the line there. So another boundary here for the Sri Lankans. They are moving nicely towards that 300 run mark. And once again, Salim Maling pitching it wide outside of the ball, tearing a bit, getting a thick outside edge. And Moin Khan unable to get a hand to it. And so did Mohammad Wasim filling that shot third man area. Missing it completely and the ball beating both the fielders uh, and uh, the umpires ensuring that it's kept white as possible Suckling continuing swept away into 
of the Wakefield region. They get four for eight. The fine shot there by Dharmasena and four more runs for Sri Lanka. Well, that's what the Sri Lankan batsmen are capable of. Dharmasena, not a top order batsman, comes at number eight. And uh, there you see his contribution. They get 15s and 20s, but they get it in such a quick time that the scoreboard keeps on moving and the run rate never drops. It's a good delivery by Saklain, just maintaining that good line, continuing to do so. A crowd waiting in anticipation of Sri Lanka's 300. A very good run rate maintained. And that's Sri Lanka's 300. Dharmasena stroking it down to mid-off. Crowds rising to Sri Lanka's 300. Lone Sri Lankan lion flag in the mid-sit. 300 of just 295 deliveries. That's very good going. Down the ground, lost it straight over the bowler's head. Fine shot there by Mahanama coming down the ground and hitting it over the bowler's head, beating the field on the line there. That'll be interesting to see because Salim Malik here bowling that ball and Mahanama picking it up, Shahid Afridi deep in the field, coming towards the ball and then turning away. He lost it in the lights. He was pretty close to the ball but he obviously lost it completely. Four runs more to Sri Lanka. Manam is bold, trying to run the ball onto the bacon slip region. Manam is gone, bowled by Salim Malik. Trying to nudge that ball to the third man, missing it completely, and Salim Malik picking his. And have done very well to get up to the 300 mark. Bonus runs as far as Sri Lanka is concerned. It's bold him. Good delivery by Saklin. Dharmasena coming down the wicket, getting himself yoked, and Sri Lanka have lost their ninth wicket. As I was saying earlier on, Saklin is so good when he comes and goes towards the death end. And here, building a good Yorker. In fact, uh, Dharmasena made it into a Yorker. Sri Lanka 308 for nine. For every possible run, just three balls to go. Saklain concentrating on outside the off stump, just going a little bit wide. A bit harsh, I would have thought, because that ball did turn a lot. And uh, the one previous to that, when Moin Khan and Saklain appealed for Kotbian, I think it was more to prevent the umpire from giving a wide rather than a genuine nick. Wrapped him on the pad and he's being given out. So Sri Lanka all out. That's Sajib De Silva. Flying over it, wrapped full on the boot, and uh, been ruled LBW. So Sri Lanka all out for 309. And Saklain picking his fourth wicket in the process. And Sri Lanka 309 for making runs. Jasuria and uh, Atapato giving them that blazing start and continuation by Ranatunga Arvind De Silva. And uh, at the end, Mahanama. And uh, they. Pakistan bowlers, the main success being Saklain, a very good spell of bowling under severe pressure and uh, Sri Lanka are 309 uh, all out. Pakistan need 310 more runs to win and will be back. Starting. Well, that's a cheeky run in the end, but just rifting the blade in front of the ball. And so, uh, uh, Freedy being uh, prepared to play the odd defensive shot or semi-defensive shot. That's a good length. That's the Sri Lankan bowlers can bowl on that line. They'll certainly keep the Pakistan batsmen quiet because they can't afford to change this, lar this large total by losing too many early wickets. So they'll have to be a little bit careful. So the Sri Lankan bowlers will have at their ball straight. It's going to make it very difficult for them. Sixty-nine and nine point two overs was the total. 
that the Sri Lankans got for their first wicket. We'll see if they can match it as we look at Tremendous Vasa's figures. Still a pretty young man. A hard task opening the bowling and batting lower middle order. Expected to get runs there too. Good economic economy rate there of 3.88. Anything under four is very good indeed. So made for one day cricket this fellow. Top shot, four runs, using the pace of the ball. This new ball coming on nicely from the pitch. Standing over the top of it from 77 balls. But once again, Jaya Surya. Grabbing this down. It could be a couple here if he wants them. Yes, well, Afridi only needs to hit the bad ball. And uh, he'll score quickly enough. As we look at Akhid Java just bowling those six overs because he went for 49 at the beginning. The interesting strategy today was Ashad Khan opening the bowling, taking a couple of wickets too. Not too expensive, considering uh, looking at the rest there. Afridi going for eights from just uh, five overs, went for 40. That's amazing. Stepping away and playing with a horizontal bat. I suppose you call that a straight drive over the top. From a much higher um, trajectory, as you can see, they're very upright. Bring it down very high, and I think that's what enabled them to get a little bit more bounce. taken from the bowling of Tamindavas. Again, Sandra, we're looking for the drive again, that bounce, and pushing a lot of bottom hand into that, into that shot. That's what took it in the air, and you can see the glory there on the solar side, Anwar. Just not quite sure what he was trying to do there. It's as though he was trying to chip it over the top, got through the shot anyway, and the simplest of catches for a highly delighted Murali Viram. appeal from Vass, but no one behind the stumps appeal. The crowd, around about uh, 90 odd thousand of them appealed at the same time. Again, just running this one across, not getting his front foot across it, played in a long way away from his body. And that ball went a long way. To what he believes is relative safety. <laughs> there it is, in the air, and just barely carrying, if carrying at all. But a streaky shot for a single with the offside sweeper out. And almost the second Pakistani wicket down. The ball is just too wide to play with that. It needs to be played with more of a horizontal bat. It needs to get on top of it. It's have a kind of semi-perpendicular bat there. There it goes, over the top of cover. That could well be six. It is. Well, it just shot. Got under it and timed it well. Got it right over the covers. There. Lovely shot. It was a long on, but it went nowhere near him. It was on the offside. Seeding what just over four runs per over. Played fine, that's four runs. So nicely angled off the face, did play it down. And you'll take four. Waited there on it, and well guided, using the bowler's speed and pace off the wicket, and just guide, guiding it through there. A fast outfield. Once again, from the Tata Steel Building, the Victoria Stadium at night, looking across the Maidan and just zooming into this tremendous stadium here. Those lights there too that were on the Victoria Memorial were su supplied by 
Tata Steele. Hello, where's it gone? Many a mile, circling under it, Aravinda. It's a skyscraper, but he gets it. Oh, yes. Well, that went just about as high as the lights here. Aravinda circled. He snared it, but a Freedy hitting it straight up in the air. Yes, not getting the whole of it. A very, very difficult catch. You can see Aravinda de Silva there circling it. Seem at one time to have misjudged, but took a lovely catch in the end. And that's the wicket that three like this game. Shaminda Vas continues the attack from the pavilion end. Ejaz Ahmed is the new batsman out there, and this is why. In the end, it was a very good catch by Arvind de Silva. The ball was in the air for a long time, and there he is, falling in the end. But I tell you, that is an excellent catch. The 273 runs at over six and over is going to be a tough target, and I'm sure they all know about it. Inzamam there missing out on the match here. He was hoping that if Pakistan can pull a victory here, that every likelihood he'll play tomorrow. There the ball, rolling his fingers on it, slowing it down. Good chance. That's a big, a good shot. Not much of a gap there, and it's fairly raced away. Good placement and fantastic timing from Ramiz Raja on that occasion. Yes, enough bit for Ramiz there and he picked up the spot beautifully plays and once that ball raced past the inside ring there was no stopping incidentally I think the Sri Lankan inning at this stage they picked up that up until recent times was considered to be a very good strike rate these days you've got to be up around the 90 to 100 mark to be considered to be the top uh, of the list swing and a miss on this occasion rather unusual stance E. Jazam so from 41 overs, Pakistan need 264 more runs at 6.43. It is a big ask. Why wouldn't he be enjoying his quick... Down the wicket he goes and down the ground, just clearing the mid-on fieldsman. Didn't quite get it in the middle of the bat, but he took the odds against being able to clear the deepish mid-on right back near the circle. And that is how Pakistan got to... 50 there, 53 for 2, just clearing the inside fielder. In fact, at one stage, Ijaz, you'll see here, had given up after playing that shot. He thought that maybe he hadn't cleared that fielder, but fortunately for him and for Pakistan, he did manage to clear and picked up four runs in the process. Hugh with his left arm, fast medium deliveries, short ball, and that's gone many a mile. Going, going, gone. Ijaz has certainly found the right bounce and the right line to pick six of that delivery and I think one of the things he has decided is a mighty swing that was, the ball landing way into the crowd with just about four overs to go, with the restriction of fielders to be lifted I think Ajaz has decided that it's time the long handle has to be used and it's I can assure you that it's needed badly very badly as far as Pakistan is concerned We've seen some big hits in the series so far, but that's up there with the best of them. A fair bit of good fortune attached to it, I suppose, because he really had made up his mind before the ball was bowled as to the fact that he was going to jump down the wicket and try and hit it as far as he could. Fortunately for him, the bowler, generally speaking, in recent times, it's worked very well. This time he goes over the offside. Doesn't quite get onto it. The ball will race into the outfield. He won't catch it. And that's four more to Pakistan. The crowd is enjoying it. And the target that they are chasing, this Pakistanis do need some very good overs, especially with just about four overs to go before the field spreads out. I think Ajaz is doing the right thing here. This ball almost in the right slot, but not uh, lengthwise. He manages to put enough bat to it and clearing the inside field and the ball racing towards the boundary line. Four more to Pakistan. Good over so far. 
Strike rate of 95 for Ijaz. 20 balls for his 19. And there's four more, maybe more than four. One bounce. Oh, it's a good over. And as Asif said, absolutely necessary for them at this stage. If they can't get some good hit, hits in now, they're going to struggle later on when the field goes back. And also, I think when the slow bullets comes on, the ball is, is not going to get onto the right bat. And here it does, playing with a very straight bat and picking the right spot, picking four more runs for Pakistan. Pressure's on the bowler. The line and length is important. Here he goes again. Thick edge, that'll do. He'll take the runs. 20 from the over, a great one for Pakistan. Two overs. We've got uh, Ravi Shastri, Ranjit Fernando. He gives the charge and hits it handsomely. Over extra cover and into the fence. So Ramesh Raja too into the act. Coming down to Shamin Dawaz, getting up to the ball and hitting it into that vacant extra cover region. Yes, that was the slow ball bowled by Vaas, picked up very early by Ramiz Raja. Hussain, of course, hasn't had uh, much success in this competition. Well, this is an excellent yeah, over. Up, He's kept his eyes away from the strike and he won't like it. This is what Sri Lanka really needs to frustrate these Pakistani batsmen. They are waiting to charge Dharmasena in this first 15 overs to make as many runs as possible. It's a good start here by Dharmasena. Just two runs coming off that over. 83 for two. Straight away some turn for him. So Muridharan once again displaying that he could make the ball turn viciously and um, on this surface where there is a little bit of turn for him, getting it right across. So he's got the ball to spin right across the body of uh, Ramiz Raja. He's a wily customer, Muridharan. And that's beaten mid-off. So four runs here for Ramiz. Beautifully played by Ramiz Raja. Coming down the wicket to that flight of delivery from Muralidharan and beating mid-off. A diving Kalpage. Just very nicely in position. Leaving allowance for the spin. And there's Kalpage who's such a fine fielder been beaten. The ball is five. So they've held it round about that for some time now. Uh, these two really making a play for it, in particular Ijaz Ahmed, 32 from 36. Charging, trying to hit it for six. Instead hits it along the ground for four. The way he launched at it, I think he probably got closer to the ball than he'd anticipated. If it wasn't quite there, it would have gone over the top. Good evening, Asif. There he does, dancing down the wicket and hitting it very hard. Just over the top of the umpire there. And Buckstone's 100 coming up in the 19th over. And both Ajaz and Ramiz Raja have picked up the tempo, but with the introduction of the spinners, there it is, the 100 in 111 deliveries. Murli Dharan and Dharmasena, since they have come on to bowl. Pakistani batsmen are not finding it as easy as it was when the seamers were on to score the runs quickly. Well, the way that he's swinging the bat here, he is just giving it everything he's got. He's just winding up and throwing himself into it, following through like Tiger Woods, I would suggest, but missing it. And that must be wider than it is. Umpire Orchard from South Africa, no doubt about that one frustrated he can't get their attention around the wicket now and that's a beautiful shot just wide of mid off with the angle around the wicket not getting the same amount of turn and Ija is able to hit it wide of mid off who is much straighter and that is the reason Raviz is giving him the strike Ija is beautifully on top of that ball 
and with the full swing of the bat, placing it to perfection. With the long off, since the bowler is bowling round the wicket a bit straighter, the Murli Dharan coming back now, coming back to bowl over the wicket. And the Sri Lankans still have a couple of spinners up their sleeve. And Aravinda de Silva, and of course Jaya Surya. Well, are these their two front line ones. That's interesting. I think it's quite appropriate what that uh, Leon was, uh, what that uh, sign was saying, because uh, I think uh, without India being in the final, two neighbours participating in the Independence uh, Pepsi Independence Cup and a huge crowd supporting cricket there. trying to improvise, moving across his stumps early, but not able to get it to the Sri Lankans as we look at this vast crowd about a steel building he expired in 1904 and that massive business that's developed with him starting starting it off way back in those days, as we watch Jaya Surya looking and coming back for his 50 Ijaz Ahmed running well and this very appreciative crowd here at Eden Gardens in Calcutta showing their appreciation of good cricket well for someone who wasn't really feeling well to start the, the match Ijaz has done exceptionally well 50 of just 53 deliveries Well, a slight misfield there, ball ricochets, and instead of getting one, they end up getting two. And here we go down at the Botanical Gardens. Give it out. Well, the way Jaya Surya went and congratulated uh, the wicket keeper there, one felt that uh, he was pretty confident that that's out, and it certainly looks very close. And I think every likelihood that Ajaz Ahmed was just out. Well, it certainly did look out. And third umpire Venkat Raghavan agrees. So Ija is sliding out, not able to slide back in time. And so Jaya Surya, the little man who whacked them, now it slides forward. Looking at the back foot, remember, it slides forward, it comes up and then back. And even when it came down, we thought it was on the line. Now let's watch that at normal speed. That's that stumping. <laughs> Very difficult for a naked eye to give that out. And no wonder the introduction of third umpire and the television replay. So crucial. <laughs> Once again to the Victoria on, Memorial. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah! Well, out of field. And he's given him. Steve Dunn has given him out. LBW. So Salim Malik gets in to sweep Morley Dunn. And he's gone. And what an important wicket for Sri Lanka there. On a turning wicket for a batsman to be given out, sweeping from outside off stump. In fact, Salim was indicating as he's also got a nick to it. It would be 135 for four. He's been on a couple of tours with Pakistan team. Very good prospect for future. He's got a huge task here in front of this huge crowd. Very important game. First match for him in the Pepsi Independence Cup. Hasn't played any match at all. Tempting him to edit through the offside, but he'll have none of it. He goes with the spin, works it through easily and confidently to get off the mark. So with the Pakistan scoring, oh, that's the trophy on offer, the Pepsi Independence Cup. So Sri Lanka very much in the box seat. He's dropped him, that was hit back to Jay Surya. Pakistani 
have to make these big scope shots and Jay Surya unable to grasp that. You see, settles down now, he's ready again to bowl to Ramiz. And a single there brings up a half century for the Pakistan captain. That's Ramiz Raja's 50. A knock in vain, really. He's um, really not got anyone to stay with him. Pakistan is scoring rate tapering away. They took the wicket for count and there's four more swinging across the line. Pakistan from very early on. They both finished up going for a reasonable number. But they took the wicket for count and there's four more swinging across the line but uh, very effectively. Takes the total to 192 for four. A number of times out there, maybe not feeling very well either. Really is demanding. Well bowled, that's got him. Nice flight of delivery, fuller delivery and a faster delivery that floated with the arm. Rummies wanted to come down the wicket and attack. Deceived in flight, couldn't get the bat down quick enough. And unfortunately for Pakistan, Rummies Raja has been bowled by Dharmasena for 76. Yes, coming down, seemed to be a little bit exhausted. He got too far down the wicket and just played inside of it. A good delivery. This time he goes for sweep shot, but there's a man back there for that. See it here, nicely plated ball. And inside. We've been one of the favourite shots in one-day cricket. This time he's gone. Down the wicket, swinging across the line. Murali and strikes again, takes his second wicket of the innings. And Mohammad Wazim is out for 20. No matter whether the ball hit the stumps or he was stumped. I think he was stumped by uh, Kalo Udurana here got a little bit frustrated but went down the wicket didn't even look at the length or the pitch of the ball Chipping down having a, a wild swing really wasn't near the ball when he swung at it the ball just turning inside and a good stump in that reminded me very much of the cow shot you were Keep talking us! about the other day Gary Big two runs 197 for six oh. Quite a bit of flexibility in his bowling attack. I remember the days when he was a fairly useful medium pace for himself and was rarely required these days. Sweet shot employed again. So, uh, just a few problems out there for Mohan Khan. They have twisted his ankle. Pakistan team got enough problems about another injury. They had to declare the inning closed the other night with two injuries. No and Khan may have tripped over his own bat. Not, uh, not a very clever trick. Master one down the leg side. That's got to be a wide. Oh, it was well taken. Let a quick stump in, but then foot is well planted, never moved it. Bit of an ambitious appeal there. Oh. Well taken again. It's another wide though. Umpire Dave Orchard getting a bit of exercise. It's pretty warm out there. I would have thought he'd like to keep those arms down as much as he can. Right now he's got very little alternative. That's 
Arvinda De Silva keeps firing it down the leg side that wide. He has no alternative but to spread his arms wide at Doug Gregg. Well, he's in the air. This could be out straight down the throat of the man at square leg. He's taking the catch. At a patu, the man on the boundary comes in and in the end takes a, a reasonably comfortable catch. None of them are easy in the outfield. The lights can always be a problem. He took it low down, but well thought out by Adapadu on the boundary, and well taken. Yes, down the wicket, going for the big one. Didn't really put a lot of effort into that one. And can only find the man down at the deep the wicket boundary there. Disciplined effort by the Sri Lankans. Oh, he's bowled him through the gate. Oh, dear. Played away from the pads to claim. Aravinda De Silva highly delighted with that little effort. 207 for eight. Delightful Aravinda De Silva. Certainly a deal better like that. Brings about a lot of delight. Going right through the gate. Sucklane playing all rounded and comprehensively bold. 207 for eight. He first had uh, Sucklane. That's how Sucklane went. And the last deal very confusing, Archit Khan. Oh, he's flicked it up in the air. And just falling short. So Arvind De Silva enjoying himself with his off spinners. That time Archit Khan getting a leading edge. Ball just falling short of Mahanama. Looking for a single. He'll be out of a hit, so I would suggest that they do. Yes, he's given him. He doesn't even need to ask for the third umpire, so dearie me, a two-ball duck uh, for Khan. And now 207 for nine. Arshad Khan was taking immense chances to the ever-efficient Rashan Mahanama, out by a couple of feet. Oh, at least 207 for nine. enthusiasm here from the Calcutta crowd quite a few have left I suppose it's fair to say since uh, things have became, become obvious for a while 139 games and obviously his bowling statistics would look better than his batting now Hussain who has put up the order to give it a bash and Mahali is going to be left stranded here 208 for 9 in fact, spooning it up to Murli, Murli Dharam from the bowling of Vaas fairly early on. Shahid hitting that skyscraper that Aravinda De Silva got under and took a very fine catch. And here we go, heaving straight down the ground, Hussein getting it straight enough. Won't go all the, all the way though, pitched and stopped, so he's able to maintain the strike. Running back for a second. So the Sri Lankans just going through the motions for the final rites to be performed on the Pakistanis. Blast once again. Could give him the inside running. And that one hooked down the ground. And this time though it, it parts mid off and mid on. And it goes for four. So Hussein deciding he might as well hit out. He's a good shot by Hussein, just hitting it into that um, vacant space behind the bowler's arm. Wide spaces there. That's a good shot. You can't quite get it past Aravinda to silver at cover, but really hit that one sweetly. Probably didn't need to. It was a full toss anyway. They're looking for two. A lot of shouting going on there. Oh, almost a mix-up. Went to the wrong end, though. The same was ball-watching. And now, hello. Steve Dunn's asking uh, for the camera, the third umpire. It must have been a lazy effort trying to get in. He appeared to be well in. Well, as we take it back, that could be out. And striking... 
Well, I think he may well be gone. Well. And just flicking this fine down the leg side. And that's uh, well uh, footed. <laughs> Rakib Javid. Nice little flick down the leg side. Oh dear me. He lost some poise there. Ended up on all fours trying to fetch it onside. Hits the bottom edge when it wasn't easy when there was a good uh, partnership developing and Ijaz was going and just uh, pull them back round and over covers head and a lot of shouting going on he could be run out yes I'd say he is in fact Steve Dunn gives him out not even able to get back as Akif Javid and so the victory comes to Sri Lanka in the best of three series in this independence, Pepsi Independence Cup here at Eden Gardens in Calcutta. The Sri Lankans win 2 0, and they win by 86 runs in this second game as Dharmasena throws the stumps down. Akib Javid, a good metre short, and the Sri, Sri Lankans triumphant once again. of the hot conditions here at India at this time of the year. The Independence Cup, the four teams that started off this competition about three weeks ago with New Zealand and India dropping out, approached it differently today. They really went for it right from the outset in Mahali, lost wickets early. Here today, Saeed Anwar played a very fine shot behind point but then just pushed one up to mid-off to be caught off the bowling of Vass. Afridi once again, a skyscraper. Ramiz Raja held things together to give some respectability in Ijaz Ahmed. That was the pick of the partnership uh, during the Pakistani innings. Dharmasena, though, did to turn things around as far as...